Hello guys, in the last episode we have seen how to encrypt and decrypt a string message using the RSA encryption. In this episode we will try to get the public key and the private key uh, and split them and use each one uh, in a different application like a client server application. To get started I'll go to the constructor, I will remove the block inside the constructor and add a method in it. I will remove the constructor that I have made just to use the um, the default constructor. Inside the main method I will add rsa.init. Let's run the application. Okay, so nothing has changed. If we want to print the message or the uh, public key and the private key in a, in a message, let's go after the init public void print keys. And uh, here we will try to get the public key, get the encoded message. So the encoded message will return a byte array. Uh, if we want to return it to a string, we'll use the method encode that we have uh, created last time. So, uh, public key backspace plus, and here I'll put it inside and encode the encode method. I'll do the same for the private key. Private key that get encoded and um, inside our body here rsa dot I'll do it after printing the messages say dot print keys so let's run it okay here's the result we have the public key and the private key right here let's save them in a string here private static final string public key string equals to private static final string private key private key string um, I think I've copied the private key so I will just put it swap those two copy the public key and put it here okay uh, notice that the private key is is longer than the uh, public key. For that reason, we will need a different encoder to get the public key and the private key from those strings. So let's go after our init method. Let's create public void init from strings. And, oh, sorry, void. And for uh, getting the public key we need a x509 encoded key spec so key spec public equals to new 509 x509 encoded spec and um, this constructor takes as a parameter uh, a byte array of the public key so we will use the method decode to decode the string that is public key string and uh, for the private key we need uh, the pkcs8 encoded key spec so key spec private equals to new pkcs it's the same thing it takes a byte array so we need to decode the private key string and uh, we also need a key factory to generate the public and the private key so key factory key factory equals key factory dot get instance of rsa 
because these are RSA keys and the public key equals to key factory dot generate public from the key spec public and private key equals key factory generate private key from the key spec private and uh, let's put these inside a try catch block okay so let's go back to our main method instead of init method we will put uh, init from string let's test it out okay and uh, Let's, let's remove this bit. Let's remove printing the strings. Okay, let's run it again. Uh, so it's we get exactly the same the same result. We have encrypted the message successfully and decrypted it to get the original message. So um, now let's go to a server. I have created. Uh, a simple string boot application and uh, let's create a controller so right here new controllers dot application controller let's annotate it as a uh, rest controller and get add a method get map in uh, get secret message public string get message and uh, right here we will get a string message encrypt it and send it to the client to use this let's go and um, string message equals let's say the excoders and um, if we want to encrypt the message, I'll create a class here. I'll call it uh, encryption manager. And inside the encryption manager, I'll just go back to uh, the previous projects that we have been working on and I'll copy the um, the public key and the public key string. I'll paste them right here. I don't we don't need the private key for now and I will also copy the um, init from strings method and uh, remove the private key bits and uh, we need the encode and decode methods let's copy those as well we need the encrypt method because we will use the server to encrypt our messages and uh, I think that's it go back to our controller encryption manager manager equals to new encryption manager let's initialize this manager from the string the public key in it from strings and uh, let's encrypt the message that we have here so string results equals to manager.encrypt the message and let's return this exact result mm -hmm. Turn it straight ahead and I'll put it an empty string here or let's just do null. Okay, I uh, think we're good to go. I'll run the application. I will be testing this with uh, Postman. So here's Postman. It's local host 3000 slash get secret message. This is the uh, get 
the get mapping method. Let's run it. Okay, so it's running. So here is the encrypted message that we have got. So we encrypted the message, the Xcoders, and that, that's the result right here. And now let's go to our client right here. Let's remove a, mm -hmm, the main method. Let's um, mm, we don't need those. We don't need the RSA since we will use this client to decrypt the data. Let's use RSA dot uh, init from strings and let's go to this method since we will only decrypt the messages we don't need the public keys so we don't need the this spec and this one we only need the private key let's go back here i will be using uh, ok http to uh, to get the uh, to use the http method to request the data from the server so ok http client uh, I'll add the maven dependency let's go for the artifact and ok http3 uh -huh. let's go for this one let's add it and uh, let's import it now client equals to new ok http client request our request request equals to new request request dot oh, dot builder dot url let's go for http local host 3000 and um, what was our method it was get secret message so get secret message method is get with nobody so null let's build that and um, we will be getting a response 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 equals to clients dot new call of this request execute okay we will be needing try catch exception ignored once again and the let's let's just print out this response the body of this response so response body is res plus oh sorry plus response dot body dot string okay and um, yeah let's just print the uh, encrypted message all right so that's the encrypted message now let's try to decrypt it I'll put um, string encrypted message equals to that one same one that we will be printed right here and now let's decrypt it so string secret message equals to rsa dot decrypt of the encrypted message and let's print it out secret message equals to plus secret message so let's execute that one there you go so this is the exact message that we have used in the server right here so uh, it's it's working like a charm we got a message that we have encrypted in the server we have sent this message to the client we have gotten it in the uh, response body 
and we used the decrypt method to decrypt the message and we have the message right here so now we have seen that uh, to get we can exactly use a private key in um, in a client and a public key for for a server or we could do uh, the exact opposite most of the time there is uh, a key pair public key and private key uh, for each for the client and for the server you can do the same thing right here just um, generate two sets of uh, of public key and private key and you can store the public key uh, and it's uh, for, for a client and it's private key for a server and the other pair we, you do the same but inverted and uh, you can just encrypt messages and send them to the server and uh, once the server receives them they can decrypt it and use them so i'll see you in the next episode where we will be seeing uh, another type of uh, encryption I'll see you then